Hey guys, I'm Grace. I'll be filling in for Virgil today and teaching you how to use Pluralize 4 for Final Cut Pro. So when you pull it up, it's going to look like this, and you're just going to want to pull up the media that you want to sync together on the same page so you can just drag and drop it over. So what you want to do is separate into your separate folders for each camera. So you're going to have camera one, two, three, and then if you have audio, then you're going to have an audio folder too. And then all you have to do is drag it over and drop it. And you're going to do the same thing for each camera. So camera one, camera two, camera three, and then audio. And then you're going to wait for the media to sync and it's going to load right here. And you're just going to watch it until it reaches 100%. So right now my media is about 33%. You're going to want to keep in mind that this does take a while, so maybe you can find something to do while you're waiting for it to um, load. Okay, so once your clips are ready to be synchronized, then you'll see a message at the bottom that says six clips, five clips, etc. ready to synchronize. What you do here is then you're going to press this orange button that says synchronize and click it. Once again, you're going to have to wait. This one didn't take too long, but if you're working with longer clips, like 20 minutes or an hour long or whatever, then it might take longer. Um, the clips in blue are the clips that were synchronized together and were at the same time. And any clip that's in red was probably a B-roll shot or not taken at the same time. So you don't really need it. So it doesn't matter that it was in red and it wasn't synced because it didn't take place at the same time that the other clips did. So now what you're going to want to do is click Export Timeline. From here, you're going to click on this blue section to save the file, and this will allow you to save it wherever you want to. So I'm going to save it in the place where the rest of the clips are. And just click New Folder and call it um, Plural Files Create, and then Save. And then I use Final Cut Pro, so you're going to want to click here if you use Premiere or Final Cut Pro, but I'm Final Cut Pro, so I click that. And then you're going to want to click Create an Event with Multicam Clip, because this allows you to see every angle at the same time. Now you're going to click Export, and that's going to take not very long, and then it will pull up the folder that you have it in, and it will show you right here. Right here is just your normal clip that you have, and then this is the multicam clip, which allows you to see, like I said, each angle, which I will show you now. So what you're going to want to do before you import the XML in is make sure that you have all your media imported into your Premiere or your Final Cut Pro catalog, and then make sure that you start your project so that you have a empty timeline to work with. What you're going to do from here is go File, Import, in XML. You're not going media like normal. You're going to click XML because that's the format that um, pluralizes. And you're going to go and find the one you want and hit import. And then just like that, you've imported your XML. Now you're going to add it to the end of your timeline. And from here, you can start all the way at the beginning and go here. Then you're going to want to go to view and click angles. So you can see each angle that that um, is taken and was filmed. So these three buttons are super important. The green means audio only, the blue means visual only, and the yellow means audio and visual. So what you're going to want to do is find the clip that has the best audio. For me, because we used a microphone, it's going to be this clip. And I'm going to leave the audio on here the whole time and not touch it. So then I want to use the blue tool for the rest of the time to cut in and out of angles. So let's say I want to start with this, this angle, then I start there, and you're going to play and go on for a little bit. And then when I get to here, if I want to go to this angle, then I'll click on this one. Then you're going to let it play for however long. And all you have to do is click in and out whenever you want to change the angle. This is useful because you can easily see all three angles that you're shooting at, but you have to remember that every time that you switch angles, it's blading your um, area. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you know you wanna switch angles, otherwise you're gonna have to undo a lot. So that is how to use Pluralize and how to, use fin and how to import it into Final Cut Pro. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe down below.